Gire Norman Ilius. He wishes to know your name. And Pust. <laughs> Pust in boots. Hello and welcome back to Movies and Coffee with me, Odd Thomas. It's been a minute. I uh, took a break from reactions just because I work full time and I was just kind of getting overloaded. Um, but enough time has passed where I was kind of itching to get back into it. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, this is a Twilight mug. And yes, you are impressed. So what are we watching today? We are watching... <coughs> Uh, my cat's decided to interrupt. Okay, come on in. I'm trying to record the intro. Give me the camera. Look. No, look over here. Look. Yeah, there you go. It's my cat bear. So I apologise for any purring you may hear it on the soundtrack. Um, yeah. So today we are watching the Thirteenth Warrior. John McTiernan film, which I've obviously never seen. But I remember hearing about this back in 1999, I think it was released. I remember them a news story about them being like major reshoots or something, which in retrospect doesn't really seem like much like make big films kind of reshoot stuff all the time, pretty much every film I'd say. Um, so I don't know why that put me off. Um, it just kind of like sounded like a mess, but I'm sure it's just like some dumb tabloid story I read. So it's weird I haven't seen it. John McTiernan, excellent director, obviously, Predator. Die Hard, Die Hard with a Vengeance, which is my personal favorite Die Hard film. It's amazing. Um, I know Antonio Banderas is in this, and that's how you have to say his name, Antonio Banderas. I think it's about Vikings. I think they're fighting vampires, something like that. Or he's like a warrior fighting some kind of monster. I don't know. That's basically all I know about it. So if you'd like to watch the full reaction, you can watch it on my Patreon, Movies and Coffee. You want to make up your mind? Get up. Okay. That, that's the microphone. See, Vikings, I was right. Antonio Bandera. Is he the 13th warrior? And things were not always thus. At one time, I was a poet in the greatest city in the world, and I lived without care. Until one fateful day, I met a beautiful woman. Hello. Who belonged to another man. Her jealous husband complained to the Caliph, who made me the ambassador to the land of the Tosublad. Omar Sharif. That's funny, I've just watched uh, Lawrence of Arabia yesterday. So I journeyed by camel back many months into the lands of murderous bandits called Tartars. It's got kind of a mummy vibe at the moment. <laughs> Saw uh, Diane Venora's name. I know her from Heat. I haven't really seen her in anything for ages. They have stopped. They are not following. They're Norseman. Is he a priest? Or is that just how his shirt is? Yeah, 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 wait, wait, wait. So, cat fur everywhere. Are they dangerous? It depends. Maybe they'll let us go, or maybe they'll kill us. What's your name? <laughs> oh, there's Omar Sharif. Oh, Michael Kreinberg. I didn't know that. I love Michael Crichton. I'll try not to make any puss in joke. Puss in jokes? Puss in boots jokes. Jesus. We seek your headman, your king. Tabernacolo. He says the king is out there in that tent. Quia mortus est. Apparently the king won't speak to us because he's dead. I know what mort means, morte. You are being introduced to one of the heirs apparent. Ulvai wishes a song of glory. I feel like Antonio Banderas doesn't need to wear eyeshadow. He's just naturally smoky. <laughs> Uh, that was a bit random. Bad service. Is that? It looks like Timothy Timothy Oliphant. I don't think it is though. The Northmen prepare for the funeral of their old king. Still waiting for the vampires. We will burn him, 
In one moment, he and all he owns can be in paradise. No, that why I see my mother. Oh, they're lifting, lifting her up. I thought, so what, why is she bobbing up and down like that? <laughs> Look like a muppet. Where the brave may live forever, she will travel with him. Oh, are they sacrificing her as well? That's messed up. Just put like a sheep on there or something. Didn't catch where he's travelling to. Arrived. It is a boy standing out there on the bow. The boy is letting them see him. They do not know if what they see is real. Well, that makes no sense, but okay. He's not going to drink that, is he? <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, thank you. Um, he's like, no, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Mess up my eyeshadow. Oh, it's Joffrey. He's a messenger. He comes to ask Bulvai for help. They are menaced by an ancient evil. What thing could affect them so? The name cannot be said. Voldemort? He calls for the bones. Oh, she's an oracle. Thirteen. The number of months in their year. She says thirteen men must go. Is he the thirteenth man? I like how this is all like shot from Antonio Banderas's perspective, like the back and forth. That's kind of cool. Also kind of reminds me of like Beowulf, like someone comes in, says there's this monster in this town. Can you come and help us kill it? Kind of thing. Ten. Yeah, he's going to be 13. Let's 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 get to it. Eleven. What does that mean? She says the thirteenth man must be no North man. He's no North man. It's almost like a movie coincidence. The thirteenth warrior is you. Also, kind of reminded me of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, with like the old lady with the like the little things and moving them around a pot, not a pot, a plate. He will skira Norman Ilios. He wishes to know your name. And Pust. <laughs> Post in boots. Ahmed Ibn Fahalan. Ibn means son of. What is he saying? Hurry to meet death before your place is taken. Oh, that's nice. Not forget you. Oh, I thought we were going on a ship, but we're going on horses. Yeah, I liked in that scene how it's like from Antonio Banderas' perspective and like. Omar Sharif looked in the camera as if he was looking at Antonio. That was cool. <laughs> I assume we're not meant to have subtitles here because I haven't got any and I have no idea what they're saying. I'm guessing it's supposed to be from his perspective that he doesn't know what they're saying. Oh, that's cool. He's kind of like picking up bits and pieces of their language. So then he says... Do not foretell me, wife, for I will get no supper when I come home tonight. I don't sound like that. Has he got supernatural like powers, or is it just him like really quickly picking up? You can pick up a language in like one evening. Where did you learn our language? Has he got like a bit of The Shining or something? I listened. Was it just some bullshit movie thing without that? Like, yeah, he probably picked up their language in one evening. It's fine. Yeah, it right, reminds me of The Mummy and it reminds me of like Indiana Jones. A dog to war? I heard this the first time. <laughs> oh, he's showing off his horsey skills. It's like, hey, look at me. I can jump over hay and stuff. <laughs> the guy's like, oh, he can jump over hay. Jesus. Jumped over a horse. Okay, sure, why not? The dog can jump. <laughs> oh, hello, green screen. Jesus. This was 1999, though, to be fair. So. Shouldn't we stay closer to land? No, oh boy. This is no day to be close to land. Oh, that's a cool shot. Reminds me of How to Train Your Dragon. I'm interested to see what these monsters or vampires or whatever it is. 
behind you. What is that? It would be silent. Land! Oh, okay. I was wondering what he was doing. <laughs> Arab. Speak what I draw. Puss in. Is his yeah, so far I'm, I'm loving the look and the costumes and everything. That's really cool. You'll need this. <clears throat> I cannot lift this. Grow stronger. Rider. Perfume. Ah, a woman. <laughs> Women. Ooh. <laughs> we all know your worthy lord. My lord Wolfgar will want to welcome you himself. Why does he sound British? So many cool shots in this so far. You know what else it reminds me of? Temple of Doom, when Indy goes into the village and everyone's like staring at him and they're like, please save our children or whatever. I wonder where they shot this in like actual Viking territory. Like where would that be? Like Norway or something? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Scandinavia. These sets are amazing. This is Bulbai, son of Gilead. Come from across the sea. The man. I shall well. well, there's Diane Venora. What troubles this place, old man? Vietnamese. Has anyone seen one in a hundred years? Yeah. Gentlemen. It's a little boy. Speak to me, boy. Who did this? So is it like Temple of Doom? Are they stealing children? Just up the glen. I will take you. Yeah, visually, this film is brilliant so far. It's very Lord of the Rings. Also looks, this, this forest looks like very Return of the Jedi. Don't step in front of me. Everybody is dead. Everybody's dead. Ooh, very dead. Is it a predator? <laughs> it's a predator killing everyone. That would be funny. Well, not funny, but... He's like, nope, no thank you. The heads are missing. They have been gnawed upon. It is said they eat the dead. Eaters of the dead. Wasn't that the name of the Michael Crichton book it's based on? It's a Mendo. <laughs> what the f is that? Oh, it's like a fertility statue. Dive in the rocks, two miles up. So they are clever. Oh, I don't reckon that's a monster. I think that's like a survivor from that place. Put your hand down, little brother. I believe they watch us. Why does he have to put his hand down? What? Why? Will they come to us? The farmers say they come with a mist. Something in the mist. What of the settlements to the north? Two years. Two years. The others, we had no word. You do not drink tonight? No, we don't drink tonight. Because they might need to fight. Who is that one? King's son. Wait for the Wendell one night's time, and then talk to us of courage. The Wendell? Was that the monster in Until Dawn? Was that called the Wendell? These are guests at what is still my table. It will be fog. Black and bad boy. Yeah, this is very Beowulf. <laughs> Well, are they all pretending to sleep? Clever. What they come. I am not a warrior. Very soon. You will be. You will be. I don't think these are monsters. I think this is like another tribe like dressed up as monsters. I could be wrong. Oh, just pulled his head off. It's very dark, it's hard to see what's going on, to be honest. Well, that escalated quickly. You appear none the worse for wear. Around God is here. His head? No. I always take the heads. None of them. Did they vanish or did they take them with them? They are demons. Their blood looks real enough. Oh! You complain much. I predict a love interest. How are you in? No, 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 no. Don't put the filth on me. Clean water. <laughs> As you wish. Tomorrow, the pass will run and you'll have a fever. Is that okay then? Here, perhaps, 
This one of the claws. I'm making a trap. Yes. See? <laughs> I was just going to say he's going to fall over or something. I mean, I get that he's not a warrior, but how hard is it to swing a sword at, at a stick? It's like, it's my sword. It's not sharp enough. That is why. <laughs> he insisted. Even out of a sword, he makes a knife. Um, okay. So he couldn't swing it at a stick, but now he's suddenly like a... That's a woman's sound. Do that again and you'll make it. <laughs> she likes him. Depends Probably because he looks like Antonio Banderas. Fire serpent. Oh. Now there's a fire it's serpent? Dragon. I do not believe in dragons. Don't recognize her. It's very pretty though. Prince. Ah. You will need an example. Watch where you throw that. I like his sword. Not him, Antonio Banderas. Luck. Why are we fighting? He's going to get killed. Oh, up your shield. I think. Oh, is he faking? Stupid fools! So is he just doing this to like get an in with the prince, so it can be a mole? You could have killed him at will. Yes. Why the deception? Now he has to calculate what he can't see. I fear why he doesn't know. The mist is for me. Don't think I've ever seen Antonio Banderas play like a, not a wimpy character, but where he wasn't the hero. He's just kind of like an everyman at the moment. The worm. They've roused the fire worm. The worm? There's a worm? Oh, the dragon, okay. Didn't know there was dragons in this as well. Serpent of fire. What's that in the field below the tower? Look at her. How do you know it's a her? Can't see that well. Up in the gate. Oh, Down. It's got to be a trick. Okay, so not a dragon, just people with a bunch of torches. <laughs> I'll just steal this child. Now you saw the fireworm. It's cavalry. I rather prefer a dragon. Take the north. Let's go, little brother. So I still don't know if that like actually monsters or if they're just men dressed up to be scary. Be merciful. That's a cool shot. I was just gonna say, aren't they just gonna burn everything? Ouch. It's just a man. It's a man. Ah! Hang on! What they should do is get like a bowl of fuel and just like chuck it over them, watch them burn. But the people of the village are like, uh, we asked you here to save us, not like burn the f place down. We will die here. Okay. Finish you, I'll bring you back to life. A gentleman doesn't discuss such things. <laughs> it's a man. If it's a man, it must sleep. If it sleeps, it has a lair and we have a trail. This guy reminds me of um, the guy from Ghostbusters 2 in the painting, Vigo. <laughs> bring the arrow. Diane Venor hasn't really had much to do so far. It's a queen, you low Franz Minau, does she not? We seek your counsel, madam. Step closer, Boulevard. Viggy, Viggy, Viggy. Let you your match with the eaters of the dead. This is the mother of the men. Where do I seek her? She is the earth seeker in the earth. He's like, what the f does that mean? Have we anything resembling a plan? Right till we find them, kill them all. I do like his sword. I want that sword. 
What kind of dog is that? It's like, like a wolfhound or something. I love how like dirty and grimy and dark this film is. Feels very realistic. Oh, that's creepy. Bear skulls, the clothes, the headdresses. They think they are bears. How do you hunt a bear in winter? Go in his cave with spears. They have a cave troll. More likely a cave bear. But there's no cave. Yes, there is. Hey. We do it. I would like. So what's the plan? Are they just gonna like ambush them, or are they just here to like, what's the word? Reconnoiter, reconnaissance. How deep in the earth are we? Deep enough to fall out the bottom. A giant booby statue thing. I was wrong. These are not men. Cannibals. If we cut our way through them, we will have the other lot on us. Down the wall. And we swim. Classic stealth mission. I'm terrible at stealth games, so I just like wade in and just like Rah! I played Assassin's Creed once, so I was like, I can't be asked to sneak around, I was just gonna Rah! <laughs> It didn't go well. You can see this is the guy who made Predators, like lots of like spiky sticks, lots of mud, waterfalls, beheadings, monsters. Let's go, little brother. I do not enjoy height. Ow. That's got a hoit. Really? Nobody's seeing or hearing this? <laughs> so do they like worship bears in general? Or is it like an actual giant bear we're gonna see? Squishy. It's like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Go! Kill her! Oh, it's a head sculpture. Is that a witch? I'm gonna go with witch. Oh, damn. Okay, Highlander. I bet that was like poisons as well. Poison claw. The claw. Damn it. Yeah, poison. It is done. It is. There's a passage leading down. Or maybe it's not poison. I've run about as far as I care to. Get the long lad. Go. He he doesn't look that injured, to be honest. I think he just wants a rest. We'll just keep following this stream. It has to come out somewhere. The stream disappears under the rocks. Underground tunnel? Wait, 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 wait! Thunder! Waves make thunder. There's a surf out there. Can we swim it? Or do we drown? Try it. So one way to find out. Try it. Small chance of success. <laughs> one, two, three! Maybe just like send one guy first, <laughs> just in case. This is like my worst nightmare. Just underwater in a cave. Forget about it. In a cave you've never been into, you don't know how long it, could, this could be like five miles long or something. I thought that place burned down. His fate is sealed. You don't know that. You're wearing that long face for me. I cannot help it. I will die a pauper. You will be buried as a king. Rest. The Wendell want vengeance for killing the mother. It will come soon. What do why Antonio, Antonio Banderas' hair is so short? This kind of period, do you think it'd be like long, like the other Viking guys? I know he's an Arab, but it seems really short. Yeah, this is very Two Towers. I wonder if Peter Jackson watched this and was inspired at all. I mean, in terms of filmmaking, I know obviously Lord of the Rings, the book came out a hundred years ago or something. Kill their leader and they will break. We'll soon find out. At least we don't have to worry about fire. They're all terrified, ready to break and run. I wish we had Bullvoy with us. Or maybe Michael Crichton was inspired by Lord of the Rings. They're not being stealthy this time, are they? Merciful Father, I beg only to live the next few minutes well. Yeah. 
He's like, I can still fight. No, he can't. Another cool shot. Now I've said this a lot, but there's so many cool shots in this film. Oh. Lo, there do I see my father. Is he going to do like a suicide run or something? Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Where the brave may live forever. You'd think they'd give the horses like some kind of breastplate for protection or something. You're going into battle like that. Oh, dog's getting in there. It's weird, it's like it's like gory, but you don't actually see anything at the same time. It's like <laughs> it's like pick one. Oh. Is that it? Are they retreating? Well this guy did more than I thought he would. That kind of seemed a bit too easy. It's over. Is it though? We shall make prayers for your safe passage. Uh, okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> in your land, one god is perhaps enough, but we have need of many. I will pray to all of them for you. Goodbye, Arab. Goodbye, Northman. Best friends. Yeah, so that was the 13th Warrior. And I really enjoyed that. It was, I would say, a solid three out of five. It set out to be like a, you know, Viking warrior film, and it was. Story-wise, it wasn't. It was a little bit choppy, a little bit here and there. Like they introduced elements, like the serving girl he kind of like gets with Antonio Banderas, and you think, oh, this is going to be like the start of a love story, and then they just never really <laughs> go back to her after they, whatever they do. Antonio Banderas's character is like. Like in the beginning, he, he like learnt how to speak English or Viking like during one evening. So, okay, is he kind of like psychic? Is he got the shining or is it just like a really lazy movie thing? I, th I think it's more of a lazy movie thing, to be honest. And it kind of set up this like creepy, like Beowulf kind of like they're going off to fight the monster kind of story. But then it you realise they're not monsters, they're just like these guys who worship bears and they have a witch who I don't know what the witch was doing to be honest and there's this big build up towards this final battle and it's I don't know if they just like it felt it felt to me like they ran out of money and they didn't get to do all the things they wanted to do and the main guy with the horns the horny guy you know got dispatched pretty quickly and then they the remainder of the people just rode off you're like oh is that it so that was a little bit anticlimactic. Um, I'd be interested to read up on this, like all the trivia and like, you know, maybe they did run out of money or, you know, the fabled reshoots I, I spoke about in the beginning, I heard there's major reshoots and that kind of what put me off ever watching it. Um, so I'd be interested to look at that. Diane Venora, who is, wasn't she Oscar nominated for Heat or something? She, she had very little to do. Again, I don't know if her scenes got cut or I don't know, seemed kind of a bit wasteful to have someone of her stature at that time anyway, in kind of a meh role. There wasn't really that many familiar faces apart from Antonio Banderas and a couple of the guys, I think he's called Clive Russell, beardy guy, he's in a lot of similar films I think. There wasn't really anyone else I recognised. So yeah, it was a solid film, I enjoyed it. And what I will say is visually I, I really loved the look of it. I said before, like the it reminded me of like Lord of the Rings or you know Robin Hood, very grimy, very misty, very you know wet and grim and very realistic. A lot of Hollywood films can be like the costumes are too perfect, they're lit too perfectly. Nobody gets sweaty or dirty. In this film, you really felt you know the dirt and grime of it. And I, I really loved that. So many shots like in the mist, in the forest. Loved all that. So everything lit by a candlelight or torches. That was really cool. So yeah, not, not the greatest film I've ever made. Certainly not John McTiernan's best film. But I thought it, it was solid. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I'll be interested to know when you watched this. And did you enjoy it? What you thought of it? Are there any other similar films you'd recommend? So yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Uh, if you subscribe for free, you'll get a little alert for when there's new videos. Which is really helpful and uh, yeah 
See you next time.